Hello everybody, and it is time for another stream recap video. So today on March 25th, 2019, Square Enix had a stream, <clears throat> oh excuse me, uh, detailing some things coming to DFFOO Global in the month of April. I have not yet looked at this, uh, at the stream or the recap, so this is all going to be news to me as I'm reading. So you guys will be hearing my first impressions and kind of things on that. Uh, this post was written by a user uh, by the name of Sladen on Reddit. I will make sure I leave a link to this post in the description. And uh, there are also some slides on Twitter. I guess the, the, uh, the stream itself was having some technical difficulties. So they posted a bunch of slides uh, kind of detailing what the stream was about on Twitter. So I'll go ahead and I'll show those slides then at the end of this video as well after I'm done recapping this post. But with all that said, I'm really excited. Why don't, let's get to it. Okay, so first up, Cactor Conundrum event. Between one to three Cactars, every quest, limited three quest attempts a day. Okay, so, yeah, the Cactars, as you guys well know, you know, they drop a, a tremendous amount of, uh, of crystals and a cycle quest, uh, a ton of experience, a bunch of gill. So, you know, being able to get one to three, I mean, that's, imagine if you got three, just the sheer amount of experience you'd be getting because if you take in... You know, the experience they give just as a base, and then you add in like a double book for experience, and then double cycle quest rewards, and then uh, an innate times two experience for like some event characters. So, for example, Agrius, you know, because her event's coming up soon. Yeah, you'd, you'd be looking at some absolutely outrageous amounts of experience. <laughs> I, I don't know the exact number, but just uh, uh, absurd. So, limited three attempts a day. I, you know, having the, uh, the limitation there sucks, but they are guaranteed to show up. And man, if you get, if you get the, a uh, three spawn, you know, even twice. Wow. <laughs> Cactar hunt event mission to feed Cactars for armor tokens and a power token. So I wonder, I don't know if the power token is just single or multiple. So it's kind of going off the, uh, the picture at the top. It does look like there's just the one, which, uh, you know, Hey, power tokens are power tokens. Every little bit counts. Plus cycle quest rewards times two campaign. Okay, cool. So there we go. So double cycle quest rewards. That's always really nice. Um, you know, just being able to just kind of get those crystal drops up, especially with the uh, the guaranteed cactars now too. Uh, so crystal awakenings round seven. Okay, here we go. Edge, Goliath, Echo, Seymour, Balthier, Vanille, and King. Okay. So, dang, looks like I need to start working on a uh, an awakening video here, don't I? Um, me personally. Um, Really excited about Aiko and Vanille. Uh, and I'm curious about Seymour. Um, I don't have any of his stuff, but Seymour is kind of like a guilty pleasure character of mine, uh, favorite. So, I don't know. I might have to try and get some of his stuff. Balthier desperately needs the Awakening. Um, yeah, Edge, King, Golf. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's cool. Okay, so there's round seven of Crystal Awakenings. Uh, Heretic Quest, March 28th, solo only co-op. And then April 1st, co-op only guest. Okay, so... Solo only co-op. Co-op only guest. Hmm. So, does that mean that the, the quest starting April 1st, you can only join as a guest? I don't... Hmm. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure on that one. Uh, let's see, Maria Lost Chapter starts April 4th, Palum starts April 15th. Okay, so it looks like we're sticking to uh, the JP order. No early Kuja, even though we got him early in Global because of the character pull. Um, so yeah, Maria and Palum. Uh, Agrios, April 8th. New five star, five star artifact, Edoges. So Edoges are making their debut, finally. Oh my gosh. This is, um, this is probably the biggest change. Uh, still, they come to global that um, I've been kind of clamoring for, just because of how you guys know. You guys know the grind for artifacts and how tedious and awful it can be. I've been uh, I've been struggling really hard with getting Deuce um, the uh, artifacts I want. So yeah, Edo just making de their debut. That's awesome. Um, I believe the number on them is a ten times chance, um, extra chance of getting uh, an orange passive, so two star or like attack one await. So, you know, huge, huge increase of odds there. So that's awesome. Uh, World of Illusion Spring Hunt featuring a doge for 12 characters split across two Spring Hunts. Spring Hunt 1, April 18th to the 25th. 
And Spring Hunt 2, April 25th to May 2nd. Wow, okay. Um, special community event to decide 10 of the Adoja artifacts that appear. Huh, okay. So, community event. That's exciting to decide 10 of the Adoja artifacts that appear. So, it sounds like, you know, the global community is going to have some power here. We're going to be able to kind of determine some things here. That's really cool. Wow, good on the devs. You know, that's... That's a, that's a really good way to get your fan base uh, excited and uh, feel like they're being involved. That's great. Final Awakenings batch before the next update, it sounded like. Looks like Lightning Costume. Okay, so Lightning Costume means the debut of Lightning EX. And, oh man, if, you, uh, if you've been following my channel here for a while, uh, you probably know uh, how I feel about that. Um, I mean, my... My channel art is uh, Lightning in her Knight of Etro costume. So, yeah, um, that's great news. <laughs> that is awesome. I am, <laughs> I am really, really excited now. Um, okay, but yeah, wow. So Edoja's announced. We have a date for Agrius, April eighth. A lot of people are really excited about her, me included. I will be uh, fully kidding her out. Uh, and then yeah, we have Crystal Awakenings round seven. So, wow, I cannot wait to get Aiko ready to go. She, saying she carried the team in the level 50 era is an understatement. She was, she just was amazing. And I probably used her even more than I did uh, God Saz. So, wow, that's awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then is I'm going to switch over and just show the Twitter slides. So you guys can see those and I will also link, leave links to those in the description. And then after I'm done looking at the slides, then yeah, I'll kind of just... Uh, Finish out the video with some thoughts. Poof, we are on Twitter. Okay, so yeah, even they here mention uh, they apologize for the technical issues. But yeah, so here are the slides. Um, so there's the Cactar Conundrum Quest. All right, so then Crystal Awakenings Round 7. Um, you know, Edge, Galuf, uh, Belthier, uh, Vanille, Echo, Seymour, King, and uh, yeah, wow. So there's, you know, I didn't even realize that when I was reading it on the... Um, <clears throat> on Reddit, but yeah, there are seven characters on this this wave. Well, that's interesting. And then, yeah, so the Heretic Quest, Power of Magic's Chasm. Oh, man, looks like, uh, what do we got? We got Ultimate Weapon, uh, the Ar Archeo, Archeo Avis, uh, Golurk, and then Lamia Queen. Oh, the Lamia Queen. Oh, I hate her. Oh, she's miserable. She's a right, she's a right twat to fight. <laughs> Ugh. Um... Yeah, so then Beautiful Archeress, April 4th. Mischievous Black Mage, April 15th. Knight's Honor, April 8th. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. I am so looking forward to Agrius. Oh, that's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. And then, yeah, so starting April 18th. Uh, yeah, the Edoges. Okay. So Edoges starting, start uh, April 18th UTC, so the 17th for me. And then, yeah, the Spring Hunt will then start, yeah, Spring Hunt 1 and then 2. And then, so then it doesn't, it does not give a date for the special community event to decide 10 of the Adoja artifacts that appear. So I wonder if we'll get some more details about that as we get closer or, or how they're going to handle that. So that'll be interesting. And then we actually have one final slide here. Okay. And so, yeah, this one's juicy. All right. So, and more to come later this month. So that is enlightening, of course, with her Knight of Etro costume, which I'm all over that. I'm all over that. <laughs> and... And, and getting her EX. And then more to come later this month, the final Crystal Awakenings batch. So the final batch. Wow. That is, that is, that is, wow. Okay. So just going off this picture, uh, we have Lilliset in the bottom right for sure. Uh, Ragen is in the uh, bottom middle. Uh, let's see. Top middle has blonde hair. Who would that be? Cypher? Maybe that's Cypher? I can't remember. Or is Cypher already awakened? Ooh, you know what? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, you guys will have to help me out in the comments. I know you guys will be all over this already. And then the other three, the other three are really hard to make out any kind of discernible features. But I can confidently say the bottom right is Lilliset, and then the uh, the bottom middle is likely Raijin or Raijin from Final Fantasy VIII. So, wow. Okay. So, so we're gonna actually get two Crystal Awakenings in April. Uh, by the sound of things, we'll have Wave Seven. Um, or does Wave 7 start in late March? Ooh, you know, I don't know. And then Lightning with her EX and her costume. Wow, okay, so... 
what uh, what are my thoughts here? I am I am really excited. I think we're getting some really nice, um, you know, kind of quality of life um, uh, updates here with um, with the Cactar Quest, which you know that's going to be limited time, but that's really really nice for kind of grinding and farming and that kind of thing. Uh, crystals, experience, gold, all that stuff. Gil, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, um, well, you know, you guys know what I mean. Anyway. Um, but the Adoges, the Adoges, uh, mechanic, um, I think is really sorely needed, um, for global just to help with the grind of artifacts. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about that. Um, we have our wave seven crystal awakenings announced, which is awesome. I'm, I'm interested in three of them. The other four, eh, eh. I mean, I have all of Balthier stuff by accident. So I guess, I guess that's something I'll, I guess I'll awaken him. Um, and then, um, yeah, so then the community event, that's awesome. It's really cool, um, you know, getting the community involved and helping decide some stuff. And then, uh, yeah, and then we have a preview of Wave 8. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very confident on two of them. The other four, not so much. But like I said, you guys, uh, I will, um, I'll pin a comment in the comments um, with the other four uh, once me and the community are able to figure out who those other four are. So you guys can see that. Um, and as I mentioned, I will also have links to everything, the two Twitter posts and the Reddit post. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for me in this video, guys. I'm, I'm personally very excited, uh, for this, this next upcoming month. I think we have some really cool stuff on the way. So uh, I hope you guys are excited as well. And I will, uh, see you guys here, uh, very shortly for my, uh, Awakenings Batch 7 video here in the next, uh, couple days. So until then, all of you take care, have a great day or night, and I will see you soon. Take it easy. Okay, really quick unplanned update to the end of this video. Um, on the Reddit post, uh, or Reddit for site, rather, uh, Vash1306 made a post uh, detailing the final two awakening 60 batches. And yeah, a, 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 a user by the name of Pan, Pando0 um, posted that the last batch is Yuffie, Cypher, Saz, Yang, Raijin, and Lilliset. So I was right about Cypher. That was Cypher. So there we go. Yuffie, Cypher, Saws, Yang, Raijin, a little set for the last wave. So awesome. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update so you guys knew. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. See ya.